Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how to create these amazing image carousel animations all in Figma. Let's get into it. Okay guys, so here I have the cupcake pictures and I got these pictures from Unsplash, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do would be to remove the backgrounds of all those images because I don't need the backgrounds, okay? And to do this, I will use a plugin called Remove BG Plugin, okay? And if I run this plugin, I will be able to remove the backgrounds of all my images, okay? Okay, cool. So now I have all backgrounds removed for my pictures, okay? Okay guys, the next step, I would create a frame. And to create a frame, hit F on your keyboard, okay? So I want this frame to have the same width as my screen here, my mobile screen. Of course, I would give this um, a width of four to eight and a height of three, seven, five, okay? Now, if you notice here, um, I have three different frames to represent the three flavors that I want to use for my image carousel, okay? So I'm going to change the background color of this frame. And to do that, hit I on your keyboard, okay? And I'm going to copy the color of this. Great. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my three images onto this frame. And to do that, hold down the Shift key, and select the three um, images, hit Ctrl X to cut, or you can copy Ctrl C, and select the frame and Ctrl V to paste these onto the frame, okay? I'm going to go ahead and adjust this, okay? I'll move this because I want the first cupcake, the lemon cupcake to be positioned on the frame or to be visible on the frame, okay? Okay, so cool. Yes, I think that would go. So one thing you should also do is um, I would select this frame, go to the right hand side or the properties panel and um, clip content is currently selected. Okay, so I'm going to unselect this so that um, the other two outside the frame would be visible. Okay, now Let's see what is happening here. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, next let's create the carousel indicator. Okay, and to create this, hit O on your keyboard, hold down the shift key, and just drag. Okay, but I want this to be 20 pixels in height and 20 pixels in width. So I'll change that right up. Okay, then hit I on your keyboard because I want this to have the black ish color because it's the selected one, okay? What I'm going to do would be to create a component out of this frame, okay? So I'm going to select the frame, go to the top toolbar, okay? When I hover around this icon, you see it says create component, so I'm going to click on this, okay? Now I've made a component out of this frame, okay? Great. The next thing we'd have to do is to create two variants of this because I want one variant to represent the lemon, okay, which is what we already have. And I want a variant for the minty taste or the minty flavor cupcake. And I want another for the red velvet cupcake, okay? So first, I'm going to select the second option, okay? Now, hit K on your keyboard, K, okay? Then I'm going to reduce the size of this, okay? I'm going to reduce the size, yep. And then hold down the shift key and with the up arrow on your keyboard, let's change the um, positioning of this, okay? Yeah, I want this to fly in from the right hand side, okay? Let's rotate this just a little bit, okay? Um, yeah, this would do, I, I love this angle, okay? And then go to the right hand side on the properties panel. Okay, guys, you see the pass-through, yeah? Let's reduce this to maybe 20%, okay? Amazing, great. Now, let's create two more variants, okay? So let's select the component, 
and go back to the top toolbar you see the plus icon it says add variant okay so click on this to add a variant amazing cool 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 okay so now um hold down i would select this and go to the right hand side i don't want to select the clip content because i want everything to be visible okay so this selects the clip content great so everything is visible okay now select the second option okay and hold down the shift key okay select all three um, images on the second variant okay and use the back arrow is it a back arrow yeah to move these items okay because i want the second picture or the minty flavored cupcake to now be centralized or positioned on the frame okay i want that visible on the frame so i'm going to take the lemon cupcake out of view and i want the second one to be visible okay let me change let, let me um take this a bit farther away okay select the second cupcake mm, and then okay change the rotation to zero because i i don't want any rotation on this okay and hold down the shift key and the down arrow and bring this back to view okay then hold down k on your keyboard and increase the size of this okay i want this to yeah okay increase the size yes i think this would do great okay and then click v on your keyboard okay to select the scale and select this one more time go to the right hand side on pass through and change this back to 100 okay yeah so it's fully visible mm, let me increase this a little bit more okay on my keyboard i want this to scale a bit more i want to increase the size yes i think this would do let me centralize this centralize this centralize this yes yeah, central okay now i want this to hold down the shift key and move this a bit more okay now notice what i'm going to do here okay for the first cupcake which is a lemon cupcake i'm on the second variant okay i'm going to hold down k on my keyboard and i'm going to reduce the size of this lemon cupcake okay then hold down the shift key and i'm going to take it up 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 yes and i'm going to rotate it okay i'm going to give it an anti-clockwise rotation okay yeah i think this is enough and then go to the right hand side or the properties panel hmm? and then i'm going to change the pass through to reduce this pass through to 20 10 percent amazing okay yeah okay you would see why we do this when we notice or when i show you on the prototype amazing guys okay and i'm going to do the same for the red velvet option on the second variant okay but i'm going to give it a clockwise rotation so i'm going to hold this down okay press k on my keyboard and reduce the size of this mm -hmm. yeah that would do okay then hold down shift on my keyboard take it up 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 yes yeah that is good and then i'm going to rotate this give it a rotation yeah that would do okay take it off a bit okay and yes this would work and go to the right hand side of the properties panel and like always i'm going to reduce the opacity okay change this to about 20 percent yes guys we are almost there okay okay so now i'm going to change the color of this frame so select the frame Press I on your keyboard and I will give this the minty color. Yes. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to change the um, selected carousel indicator, okay? So I would make this 20% or 20 pixels, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, and I on my keyboard, I want this to take the selected color 
and I will change this to 20 pixels because now the first option is no longer selected. 16 pixels, yes. And change the color to the selected one. Yes, okay. Now guys, we are done with the second variant, okay? So I'm going to select, click on this, and you guys, you see the plus icon here? I will add, it says add variant, okay? Click on the plus icon to add the third variant. And this third variant, guys, would be for the red velvet cake option, okay? Great. So I'm going to repeat the same process like I did for the second, okay? Okay, guys, so I have repeated the same process for the third variant, okay? But notice now the third cupcake or picture is visible or centralized on the frame, okay? And I have pushed the other first two options out of the frame, okay? Reduce their size and also decrease the opacity, okay? Great. You guys, we are almost done, okay? The last thing that we're going to have to do would be to add some interactivity between these three variants. And to do this, guys, let's head on over to the prototype section, okay? Now select prototype on the right-hand side, and I'm going to add some interactivity between this. Okay, guys, so when the user selects the second circle or the indicator, I want this to move to the second or change to the second frame, okay? And how do we do this? Let's just add an interaction, okay? And I would, um, yeah, smart animate is fine on click change, 600 minutes. Yeah, this is fine, okay? Great, and I also want it to be that when the user clicks on the third circle, okay, I want this to um, navigate to the third option, the red velvet cake, okay? Smart animate, 600 minutes, yeah, that's fine, okay? And on the second variant, I want it to be that, okay, when the user clicks on the third option, okay, navigates to red velvet cake or the third variant, and if the user clicks on the first option, go back to the lemon cake or the first variant. Okay, guys, so um, interaction is added, and I will just click content. So select the component, and go back to design, and select clip content, okay? Yep, we are done or almost done, you guys. Now I will just control C or copy my component, okay? And I'm going to paste this on my design, okay? So control C, head on to my um, design on my mobile screen and control V, okay? I will just adjust this and make sure everything is fine yes guys we are done so now let's see how this interaction or what this interaction looks like okay so i'm going to click on this mobile screen and i will hit the play button okay or the present button okay okay guys here i have a prototype and let's see what our animations and interactions look like on this image carousel okay so I'm going to go ahead and click on the second indicator. Wow, did you see that? You guys, I love it. Let's click on the third. Wow, second. Wow. The you guys, did you see that? I love the slight fade in and then I love the um, tilt to it and I love the animation. You guys, it's just amazing. Look at this, the slight tilt and the fade in the fade out, you guys, this is amazing. I love it, I love it, it looks good. It makes your designs less boring, okay? This would be fun to use as a real application. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. And I think that's all for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So please like, please subscribe, and please, 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 Follow me for more content, okay? Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.